Hey guys, it's me, Dave from the Kodo, back with another guide for you. Some of you may know that I am a very avid shiny hunter in the Pokemon games, and I go through a bunch of different Pokemon that will help me in catching those Pokemon based on the shiny hunting method that I am working on. One of the ones that I like using that was introduced in the Sun and Moon series is the SOS call, where a Pokemon will call in for help, and the further you go, the more Pokemon that get called in, the higher the chance of a shiny coming in that you have. So I'm going to show you... Uh, one of the Pokemon I use for this method. Now, if you're not familiar with the SOS method, I will. Uh, there'll be a video for how to do that in the future. There's tons of videos out on the on YouTube right now for Sun, for Sun and Moon, and Ultra Sun and Moon. But the Pokemon that I use is Execute. So what you're going to want to do is when you're going to find this, you're going to want to try and find one that has a hidden ability, Harvest. Now. Harvest says the Pokemon has a 50% chance of restoring a consumed berry during sunshine. This chance is increased by 100. So this is the main part I'm looking at. The uh, uh, chance of restoring a consumed berry. Now the Lepa Berry restores 10 PP to any, any move that it's used on. So when you're trying to cycle through these SOS Pokemon, you don't want the first one to die off, you, in which he'll do if he starts to struggle. You want him to restore his PP. So you're going to want to be able to give him... A Lepa Berry and the skill Harvest. <clears throat> so what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to find your Execute. Uh, I, I shiny hunt one in so I can have a shiny hunter for my shiny hunting. But uh, one of the, the first moves, once you have the ability Harvest, the next move you're going to want is the move Skill Swap. Now, in X and Y, you can go and you can learn this from the Move Tutor, or in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, it was added by the Move Tutor. Let me see if I can bring it down here. Move Tutor, boo, skill swap right here. User employs its psychic power to exchange abilities with that target. So what you're going to do is you're going to end up giving Harvest to your target Pokemon, which is what you want to do. Now that it has the ability to recycle a consumed berry, you want to hand it that Lepa Berry so that it can use it to restore its PP on the on the uh, on the moves, and it doesn't struggle out. So the next thing you're gonna want in this build set is the move Bestow, which Execute learns at level 50. User passes its held item to the target when the target isn't holding an item. Uh, the other one you can work with if you have a different Pokemon is Switcheroo, where if the, your target Pokemon has an item, you just swap items with it. But eight times out of ten, Bestow is gonna work just fine. You're gonna hand it its your berry that you're holding, which is going to be your Lepa Berry. So now you have the ability to give your Harvest ability to your target Pokemon, as well as the Lepa Berry, so that it doesn't run out of, it doesn't struggle and die. So now, what what are the other two moves? You have two more move slots you can work with. Uh, I prefer Sleep Powder, which Execute learns at level 23, put the target to sleep, or you can go with Stun Spore, where you can stun it. It's going to be your preference. You can go with both, and you can have uh, the ability to either stun it and sleep it so that it's easier to catch. In the few, the one when the shiny shows up, it's easier to catch. Or you can go with TM90, which if I go down here, is Substitute. So if your Execute or your Executor isn't beefy, tanky, and it can't take a lot of hits, Substitute's going to help you so that you can survive longer and you don't have to keep swapping in and out or healing your Pokemon. So, just wanted to run through that build, my build, for my Shiny Hunting Execute. Hidden Ability Harvest, Move Tutor Skill Swap, Level 50 Bestow, and then I have the ability to change up and either go Sleep Powder, Stun, or Substitute for the last two spots. And then that is going to be what I use for doing my SOS Shiny Hunting. If you have any suggestions or other moves that you like to use with this set, let me know in the comment section if you want to see some more Pokemon builds in the future. Let me know that too, but like always guys, good luck and have fun.